Port is a fortified wine, which means that the wine is stabilized by the addition of grape spirit. In the case of port, all ports are sweet, and so the fermentation is stopped through the addition of grape spirit. This means that most ports, whether they're pink port, ruby, LBV, vintage or tawny, have approximately 100 grams of unfermented, we call it residual sugar, and about 20% alcohol. As well as being fortified wines, ports are also blended wines made from a number of different indigenous grape varieties that are native to the Douro Valley in Portugal. Port comes in two distinct styles. Barrel aged, such as this tawny port, where much of the maturation of the wine is in barrel, not bottle, hence the color. A lot of the compounds have, have oxidized and precipitated out, which means that this wine can be drunk as soon as it's bottled. It's ready to drink and won't cast a sediment. In the case of vintage port, because they only spent a couple of years in barrel and then the rest of their 20, 30, 40 years of maturation in bottle, they will need to be decanted prior to serving because they will cast a, a sediment. Cheers. When can port be drunk? More often than you might imagine. This is our own William Pickering 20-year-old tawny and this service is an aperitif, lightly chilled, great with cheeses, good as a wine of contemplation, perhaps with a slice of cake, as would be the case with, with other sweet fortified wines like Madeira, for instance. You can also enjoy vintage port over the meal with puddings, particularly fruit-based puddings, uh, and with, with cheeses. The great thing about the majority of ports, whether barrel-aged, like this, this tawny, or bottle-aged, like vintage port, is that they're, they're great wines for gastronomy. They have an, all, an awful lot of food pairing opportunities. There's a certain amount of etiquette associated with the drinking of port, particularly vintage port. So for instance, if you're past the, the decanter of port, because vintage port needs to be decanted to be drawn off its sediment prior to serving, then you take the decanter, you pour the guest to your right, you pour yourself, or you pour the guest to your left first, and then yourself, and then you pass to the left, always to the left. This is a tradition that has its roots perhaps back in the Royal Navy of the 18th century. If someone hogs the, the port decanter, you say to them, do you know the Bishop of Norwich? And they pass it on. When looking to, to buy a bottle of port, the first thing you should consider is not when you will use it, how will you, you will use it, but how much you want to spend. And the best value ports, in my opinion, are Collieta, so single vintage tawny ports, or average age tawny ports, such as our William Pickering tawny. This is an average of 20 years. You get an awful lot of port for a, a relatively modest amount of money. And its application could be during the meal, before the meal, after the meal, whenever you feel like it. With vintage port, for instance, then the opportunity to drink it is slightly narrower. It's really a, a food wine or a, a wine for the end of the meal with, uh, with, with cheese.